This video covers representing decimals in pictures. So for example, if I have the decimal one and three tenths, first thing I always ask students to do is put W and TH above their numbers. The W stands for holes, and is my decimal, and then the three is under the T for tenths. This just helps them remember that everything on this side of the decimal is a whole, everything on this side is pieces, and then which pieces they are. This is one and three tenths. So to represent this in a picture, I have one whole box and I have another whole box. So to represent my one whole, I'm going to end up shading my whole box in. So now I've got my whole represented, one whole box. Now to represent my pieces, three tenths, I'm going to take my other whole box and I'm going to split it into ten equal pieces. I'm going to cut that box up. Then I'm going to shade three of those pieces. One, two, three. So now this is one whole and three out of ten pieces. Now students can also write this decimal, one and three tenths, as a fraction. One whole and three out of ten of a second. So this is one and three tenths, and this is also one and three tenths, and this is the picture representation of one and three tenths as a decimal and one and three tenths as a fraction. Now, if I wanted to change this to one and thirty hundredths, I would also need to change my picture. I would take my tenths away, and instead of splitting it into three tenths, I need to split it into thirty hundreds. So my box I'm going to cut into 30 equal, no to a hundred, sorry, equal pieces. And I will need to shade 30 of those pieces. Now if I know that 10 are in each row, I can shade 10, 20, 30 hundreds. Now students need to know that 30 hundreds and 3 tenths are actually the same amount shaded but that 30 hundredths needs to look a little bit different because I'm shading hundredths instead of tenths. It's tricky, but students just need to recognize that this box needs to be split into 100 pieces and not 10 pieces. Now I can also represent this decimal as a fraction. I still have one whole, but now instead of 3 tenths, I have 30 out of 100 pieces shaded. So this is 1 and 30 hundredths, and this is the fraction 1 and 30 hundredths. And then in my picture, I have one whole and 30 out of 100 pieces shaded. Let's look at another one. Let's say this time I have 80 hundredths. Now this time I do not have any holes on my whole side. So I won't have any whole boxes shaded. Instead, I just need to take a box and I need to split it into, because it's hundredths, a hundred equal pieces. Then I will shade 80 of those pieces. Now because I know 10 are in each row, I can shade 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And now my picture represents 80 hundredths. Now if I want to write it as a fraction, I think of how many pieces my, bro my box is broken into. It's broken into a hundred pieces. Out of those hundred pieces, I have 80 shaded. So my fraction is 80 hundredths. As a decimal, this is 80 hundredths. And as a picture, this is 80 hundredths. Let's look at another one. Let's say this time, instead of 80 hundredths, I have 8 hundredths. Now this is going to change things up quite a bit. I still put WNTH to remind me what I'm doing and to recognize that there are no holes at all. Now I'm going to take my whole box and I'm going to split it because it's hundredths into hundred equal pieces. Now this is where students tend to get the most confused they will want to shade 80 hundredths. It's very important that they recognize that this is 8 hundredths, not 80 hundredths. So I only need to shade 8 of my boxes, not 80. 
So this picture represents eight hundredths. Now if I wanted to write this as a fraction, I would think how many pieces my box is broken into? It's broken into a hundred pieces. Out of those hundred pieces, I have shaded eight. So this is eight hundredths. Now let's look at some more tenths. If I have two and three tenths, W and TH. Now this time, I don't have anything in my hundredths place, so I'm not going to deal with hundredths at all. First, I'm going to look and see how many holes I have. I have one, two holes, plus a little bit of another box. So I'm going to need my other hole box broken into tenths because this is three tenths. So to show two and three tenths, I need to shade two whole boxes, and I need to shade three of my ten of my third box. So this picture represents one two holes and three tenths of another. Now if I wanted to write this as a fraction, I would think two big holes and out of ten pieces, I have one, two, three shaded. So this would be two and three tenths. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks.